Well, good Saturday morning. Uh, what is this, May the 1st? It is. Um, and we're getting ready to head back home. Like I say, this was a really quick trip down to uh, uh, the North Myrtle Beach area. We are back in Calabash, North Carolina for lunch. Uh, we're going to be trying Captain Nance's seafood today. This is our second time. I think we were here about five, six years ago. Uh, pretty good. We're going to try the uh, outdoor dining today. Uh, it's right on the waterway here in Calabash. Uh, so we're going to go in there and try some seafood and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be a good experience and we'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to be walking around and showing you some of the area because there's a lot of sea there's like four seafood restaurants right here beside of each other. So uh, we're going to try this one out today and we'll let you know how it goes. let you see just a little bit of the area here there's uh, several uh, boats that you can take fishing charters out into the Atlantic Ocean from here uh, we're a couple of miles inland from the ocean but uh, while it's walking down towards dockside seafood that's one of our favorites here we're gonna be coming back for supper there they do not open for lunch so we're gonna be coming back there next trip but just let you see a little bit around here this is where we're gonna be eating today and over here is another seafood place. I can't tell the name of that one. Something rock on the end. Shamrock, I think, maybe. So, then up there is Captain John's Seafood House. There's like six or seven seafood restaurants right down this one street. So, uh, we're going to go in here and hopefully uh, have a good dining experience on the Intracoastal Waterway. You guys enjoy. It's really pretty outside. All right, here's the waterway out behind the restaurant. It's a beautiful day out here. Slight breeze, temperature about 70 degrees. It's pretty much perfect. And here's the outside dining area. down here and try to get this menu for you. Hey, how are y'all? Great. Good, how are you? Hannah? Good. Yes, we already sir. got your name. <laughs> what would y'all like to drink? I'm going to take sweet tea. Water with lemon, please. Water with lemon for me. I hope you can see it. Let me hold yeah, that up, maybe. Oh. Trying to avoid a shadow on here. You get choice of one, two, or three sheets. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's the wind blowing. We're about done. All right, that's the menu. I know that's casting a bad shadow. Quickly, I want to get the inside of the place just a little bit. I actually prefer the outside better. Uh, again, just a perfect day to sit outside and eat. So, uh, do what you see the inside of the restaurant. So. All right, that's it. All right, I come come back from the recording the inside, and our food's already here. So here is mine. This is this is the sea trout, right? They all look the same. Yeah, she said it was. Okay. Mine's supposed to be the sea trout and the uh, shrimp lunch portion size. The lunch specials are ten ninety nine, um, and you got you got flounder, flounder and shrimp. Yep. All right, and she did bring more hush puppies and baked potato for a side. So, like I say, the lunch portions are not huge, but if you're trying to keep it down a little bit, ten ninety nine, you can't go wrong. So we'll see how it is. Enough. The outside seating area now and. This is where you get your fishing fleets to go out into the ocean. And another little restaurant right here. That's a real small little place. The 
waterfront seafood shack. Like I said, there's at least six or seven seafood places just on this road and like four right here beside of each other. Five. So. Over there's Dockside. We like to come there. Um, usually on our Memorial Day mm -hmm. trip down here. They got a nice outside seating area in the back as well. Yeah. More of the waterway here. Now, Calabash, the little town of Calabash, North Carolina, it is as far south as you can go in the state of North Carolina. We are literally right on the South Carolina state line. We're probably maybe a mile above the state line now. And if you ever look at the state of North Carolina, the way it's shaped, um, it, it kind of dips down further than the rest of the state down in the southeast corner below Wilmington's, and that's exactly where Calabash is. Right on the state line, so um, very well known for seafood and um, the Calabash shrimp. A lot of good seafood options. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. You can go down to Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, just a few miles down the road, pay two or three times for seafood what you can get it for here in Calabash yeah. just about all of the places offer a lunch special and this one's a little more expensive maybe a little bit more food with it too but really it's a it's a good sensible size for a lot less money so I would highly recommend any of these seafood places in the area all right here's our receipt this is for the two lunch yeah, specials uh, $10.99 a piece. I ordered the iced tea. My wife got water. So that's two seafood meals, lunch portions for $26.44. You can pay that for one meal in a lot of seafood places. And if you go to one of those all you can eat buffets in Myrtle Beach, you'll pay more than that just for one meal. And I feel very stuffed, or well, not stuffed, but satisfied. I could eat more, but I don't, don't need more. So. Anyway, there's the name of it, Captain Nancy's. That's it. So earlier, when I said that it looked like the Shamrock, I couldn't see the whole name, so I walked up here. It's the Oyster Rock. Okay, not the Shamrock. All I could see was rock from the side, and over here's Captain John's seafood. Then the Oyster Rock, then back over Captain Nancy's where we just ate. And then Dockside, that's four, and then there's that little uh, place I showed you out by the waterfront, little seafood shacks. There's five seafood restaurants right here together, and there's a couple more up the road here. So, if you want seafood, Calabash, North Carolina is the place to get it. Well, we just finished up our lunch at Captain Nance's, so why don't you start and tell what you had and what you thought of it. I had the um, calabash shrimp and the fried flounder and the baked potato and everything was delicious. It was good. That it? You want to any more detail than that? My baked potato was good too. I have no complaints. What was your favorite part? I like the uh, calabash shrimp and I like mixing it with my slaw. Uh, and she got her a five dollar tub of mints. Show me mints. There we go. I Blue love mints. She's already eaten mint. half of them. We just got out here. I love butter mints. Am I going to get a butter mint? You may have one. I have one. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, um, once again, I got the uh, lunch special also, but I got the sea trout. You have, by the way, let me say on that, you have several options. You picked two. Uh, what were the options? Was it clams, flounder, Devil shrimp? Devil crab. Devil crab and I think sea trout. Yeah. Uh, I get flounder all the time. I like flounder. Nothing wrong with flounder, but I just decided to get something different since that was an option here. It's not an option at the other places. So um, I got the sea trout. Um, that was really, really good. Uh, I will say if you do get that, be careful because I took one bite and there was like three bones in it. Um, flounder, I usually don't encounter that too much, but uh, that sea trout had some bones in it, so be careful about that. Sorry, didn't mean to bump you. Okay. Um, you didn't bump me, you bumped the stick. Uh, the sea trout, I lost track where I was at. A uh, sea trout was really good. Um, honestly, I liked it better here today than I did last time. I told you earlier we hadn't been here in about five years, and the reason was I didn't care for it the first time we came. Um, and I don't even really remember why. There wasn't anything bad. It just wasn't my favorite one. But we decided to try it again today because I, I wanted to eat outside, and they had a really nice outdoor seating area. Um, 
I think that's new. I see a sign up there that says new waterfront dining. So that's probably something they didn't have it's very before. Nice. Yeah. Uh, perfect day. It was a little windy. It was kind of hard to eat. It was blowing your napkins and stuff everywhere. Uh, or, you know, I think we had a uh, little styrofoam cup and it blew. So anyway, uh, other than the wind, very nice day to be eating outside. Also had the shrimp, the calabash style shrimp. And that's, that was, that was as good as probably anywhere else around here. It's really tasted the same as the rest of them. Uh, that's a thing here in Calabash is the shrimp. That's what this place is known for. Uh, very, very good meal. The potato was done right. It was really good. I really like the hush puppies that they brought out to start with. The hush puppies were some of the best they were that, very I, good. Yeah, that I've had in a long time. Um, the only thing I guess I didn't like was the plates they brought your food on were so small. I, that's the smallest plates that I've seen. And I think they might be doing it to create the illusion you're getting a lot of food, but you know, you're not. You're getting a lunch portion of food. Which is plenty. Yeah, which is plenty. And um, I found it hard when I was trying to take a bite of my fish. If I put my fork in my plate, I'd knock five shrimp off every time I put my <laughs> fork in my plate. They'd fall off the sides. That's, that's a little aggravating. So, you know, if anybody from here watches this, maybe get some plates that are just a little bit bigger uh, so that they'll actually hold the food. But other than that, the food was great. The service was good. Mm -hmm. I had a good server. Her name was, what was her name? Hannah? Hannah. Hannah. She did a good job, took care of us. She wasn't like always right there, but she was there when you needed her. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's kind of what I like. So um, we're getting ready to head home now. We'll be back here in four weeks, Lord willing. And we're going to be doing some other restaurant reviews. But we wanted to try this one. Hadn't been here in several years. Would you come back here again? Oh, yeah. All right. And sit outside. And sit outside. Yeah, if you're going to come here, come in the warmer months where you can enjoy the outside sitting area on the waterway it's really really nice so thank y'all for watching please like and subscribe all right leaving out of here right now this is a i just want you to see how many people come down into this area for lunch it's uh people are coming and going quite a bit it's very popular uh really starting to fill up now i think we got here before the mad rush but uh between the four of these right next to each other, it's a very, very full parking lot right now. So I do, as we're riding up this road here, I call this little road Seafood Row. Seafood row. I don't know if that's what they really call it, but it's what I call it. So, several restaurants. Over here is the Bagel Dock Cafe. And then Captain John's Seafood on the right, Tony's Pizza. I've actually never eaten there. I don't really come over here for pizza, but I've heard a lot of people say that's good. A um, couple in our church that they met at Sunset Beach and they vacation down here. I think they like that. Calabash Seafood Hut on the right. Now here is Ella's Seafood Restaurant on the left. That's one of our lunch favorites too. That's the one we usually go to for the lunch special. Uh, we'll be going there, Lord willing, in a couple of weeks um, when we come back. So we'll we'll see how it stacks up with Captain Nance's. And of course over here on the right is the boundary house. That's where we ate yesterday. That's super good. Yeah, my stepdad's still talking about how good that was. He liked that. Fish and is excellent. Then there's one more on the left here, Beck's Calabash Seafood. Um, so that's probably about seven or eight seafood restaurants. And over here is Callahan's Nautical Gifts of Calabash. One of the best gift shops you'll ever go in if you like uh, nautical gifts, anything beach. Uh, here's a new one, Island Vibes. Haven't been in that yet. That's been built since we were here last year. So, next trip, we're going to try that one out. But for now, we're going to hit the road. We got about a four and a half, almost five hour drive. So.